These deep sea fishermen are surprised to find a school of fish unlike any they've ever seen before. Ones that can keep their head completely above the water as they swim. I bet from this distance you can't tell what animals these really are, but give me your best guess. As they get closer, it kind of looks like driftwood, but it's actually the antlers of deer. Live deer which, for some reason, are stuck out at sea. Nobody knows what chased them out there or how they are still alive. There's absolutely no land around in any direction and they should have gotten exhausted miles ago. There's absolutely no way for these deers to have reached this point, and yet here they are. In 2007, a YouTuber named Ben Ems uploaded this video made by his friend, Levi, who is reciting some lines for a play, when something appears in the window. I wish you were here. The resolution is good for a YouTube video that's over 13 years old, so I don't think it's computer effects, but I do think it's planned. This is the reflection of someone who is probably standing behind the camera, not behind Levi. The upper corner gets brighter when they turn on the light to make the reflection appear in the window. So while this video is creepy, I doubt it's as real as Ben claims. YouTuber and reptile handler Megan Margo was not intending to wear a snakeskin belt to work. Here he is. Originally from Jamaica, obviously. These guys are wild caught. But that seems to be her fate as the subject of her video nudges its way through the first loop. No, no, no. This is not a really good situation. What? At 3 minutes and 49 seconds, you can see that the snake's head is narrow enough to fit through, but too wide to pull out, so this is not going to be an easy fix. She remains remarkably calm and is trying her best to free herself when this happens. To go back to the exact same Ooh. Ooh. Fortunately, the snake taps itself and not her arm, but it was close and it's also not over yet. She tells her co-workers and they agree that there's only one solution. It's kind of embarrassing, but far less dangerous than leaving a snake dangling around your waist. He's literally like in my belt and I tried to pull him and he started trying to bite me. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to cut my clothes. There's no way she could have escaped the situation all by herself. It takes one person to cut the loops and another to safely keep the snake from acting on its instincts and defending itself. Megan's job is to be brave and stay still. It's a good thing that she has a team with her, because if she was there by herself then I guess she would have to call for help, or wait for the person to come in and hope for the best in the meantime. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers next. Thank you.